Welcome booktubers and other YouTubers. Welcome to my channel, Michael Romeo Talks Books. I've got the Yorkies here with me. Right here is Toby. He's, he's, oops, I just drove him. He li likes to lie back there on my neck. And then we've got Tetley. She's the baby. And she we call her Tetley because she's a teacup Yorkie. And then we got the princess, which is Toffee. Oops, she's a little heavier. I can't do it with one hand. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I talked about your weight on, on the picture, didn't I? Oh, well, I'm sorry. The others are wandering around somewhere doing their own thing. But these here decided they wanted to be in today's piece. So they came up and joined me. And today, we're doing a little tribute to Handel's Messiah. Now, I mentioned it a couple of times in the run-up to this. And um, suggested that if you've never heard the Christmas oratorio part of Handel's Messiah, to track it down and give it a listen. Um, not sure if everybody's had a chance to do that or been able to find it, but I did find it on YouTube by the Dream Opera. I, that's what they call themselves. And they are quite good. Um, and I'm putting a link down below in the description so you can listen to it. And um, then come back and hear the story about Handel's Messiah. And uh, I think on that point, we will just begin. It is called The Messiah, as you've never heard it. A saint by, by a Saint Swithin's parishioner. It doesn't say who the parishioner is. I guess nobody knows which parishioner. Anyway. Here it goes. Oh, and I do apologize. I, I don't do a British accent very well. And this really, really wants a British accent. But I'll do my best. Most of us are familiar with the words and music of this great oratorio. But old Bill Jones from Golkar, a little village in the West Riding, had never been to a performance. And he tried to persuade a friend to go with him to the Huddersfield Town Hall to hear the famous Choral Society. But his friend refused. Nay, he said, that sort of music's not in my line. I like a good comic song or a lively jig, but I reckon not to the sacred stuff, as they call it. It's beyond me. And another thing, there'll be none of our sort there. It'll be mostly religious folk and swells done up in boiled shirts and women with no much on. Nay, you go by the self and then you can tell me about it sometime. So Bill went by himself, and the next time the old pals met, met, the following conversation took place. Well, come on, how did you get on it, Messiah? Ee, well, said Bill, it were a fair champion. I wouldn't have missed it for all the tea in China. When I got there, the town hall were crowded. It was chock full of folk, and I had a job to get a seat, but no wonder it was all them singers. They took up half the gallery. There was a chap locking about on the organ. He weren't playing notes in particular, just running his fingers up and down as if he were practicing. Well, after a bit, a lot of chaps came in carrying fiddles. Then they brought in the Messiah. Well, that's what I took it to be. It were the biggest instrument on the platform, and it were covered in a big green bag. Any road, they took the bag off it, and then a bloke rubbed its belly with a stick, and you should have heard it groan. They were summit like a dying cow. I was just thinking of going when a little chap came on, all dolled up in a white waistcoat, and with a flower in his buttonhole, and everything went dead quiet. You could have heard a pin drop. He had a stick in his hand, and he started waving it about, and all the singers stared at him. I reckon they were wondering what he was, what was the matter with him. Then they started to sing, and they hadn't been going long before they were fighting like cats. I reckon you should have walloped two or one or two of them with that stick. First one side said they were the king of glory. Then the other side said they were. And then they went at it hammer and tongs, but it fizzled out, so I have no idea which side won. Then there was a bit of bother about some sheep that was lost. I don't know who they belonged to, but one, but one of a lot of singers must have been very fond of mutton, because... They kept on singing, All We Like Sheep. 
I couldn't help saying to a bloke next to me that sheep's all right in moderation, but I like a bit of beef myself. And he looked daggers at me and said, shh, so I shushed. A lot of women stood up after that, and all of them looked as if they were, well, getting on a bit. Some of them must have been 64 if they was a day. They sang, Unto us a child is born. And the chaps sang back, Wonderful! And I thought, Wonderful, it's a bloomin' miracle. After that, they sobered down a bit and sang about a lass called Joyce Greatly. I've never heard of her myself, but the chaps had, because they all looked mighty pleased about it. Then some bloke got up and said he was the king of kings. Another one said he was, and then, blow me, they all started arguing about it. I was getting a bit fed up when everybody stood up to see what was the matter, when they shouted, Hallelujah, it's going to rain forever and ever. Well, at that, I jumped up and made straight for the door. I'd had me money's worth, and besides, I was thinking that it was going to, if it was going to rain forever and ever, I'd better get home before the flood came. It's a real good do, though. You should have come. But, oh, I do hope they find them sheep. Sharp and Sweet, one of my favorite Christmas pieces about the Messiah, Handel's Messiah. And that is Vlogmas for Day 14. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to your comments. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow when we have, what's tomorrow's? Tomorrow, day 15. Oh, we're going to do chapter 5 of the 7 Stories of Christmas Love. Uh, so those of you, you know, those of you who count your books that you read throughout the year, if you listen to all seven chapters that I read of the seven stories of Christmas love, you can tag off another book that you've read, uh, kind of like when you listen to Audible. Um, so keep that in mind. And I'm putting all of these into a Vlogmas playlist as I do them. So if you've missed any, you can go back and enjoy. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow with this with the chapter of Seven Stories of Christmas Love by Leo Piscalia. Talk to you again. Bye.